Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. I've got my buddy Nick here, and today we're looking through a collection of Transformers. These were owned by two brothers um, that, were, that were around our age. Um, their mom was a former co-worker of mine, and she was cleaning out her attic, and she was like, Hey, I have this stuff if you want it. And I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll take it. Um, so this box has well-worn G.I. Joe, or uh, well-worn Transformers figures from the 80s in it, and we're going to kind of dig through it and see what, what characters are, if anybody's complete, or, or uh, you know, what's worth hanging on to versus trying to pass trying on to, to pass, it on, pass on to somebody that can use some of this stuff. So, it's a pretty big, pretty big collection in here. There you go, a little sneak peek. That. Yeah. Right on top, actually, I think it's pretty neat that there's actually a couple of card backs left over from original Transformers. We've got one that's the five Stuticons for Minasaur. I don't know which Transformer this is. It's either Dead End or... It's Breakdown. Breakdown, Scar? Breakdown. Okay, and then this other one is actually one of the guys from Devastator. This is the Mixer. Mix Master. Mix Master. So, I don't know if they saved these because they kind of give you directions on how to build the combiners or, or what the reason was they yeah. saved these two over the other ones. But it's neat. They have the original tech specs at the bottom and everything. And I think that's And the difference cool. between these and the uh, G.I. Joe ones is you find a ton of uncut G.I. Joe card backs, but Transformer ones, you just They're much, harder to, much find. harder to find. People always cut the tech specs out. The other thing that's in here is a Transformer storybook, and this is the Insecticons Attack. I remember a bunch of these books as a kid. Is that the one that came with a record? Uh, I don't know if this one had a record. I don't think this one had a record. Because it would have like a turn page. Yeah, like usually there's a thing at the back. Yeah. But just Look some really the great art artwork, artwork in these things. So. <laughs> All right. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of it. Who do we got in here? I see a couple good ones right off the top. This is Gears? Tracks. Tracks. Oh, man. I got my Transformers wrong. Michael McConaughey voiced yes. this guy, right? He was at RetroCon a couple yeah. years ago. So there's Tracks. He's in okay shape. I don't see anything busted on him. His tires look good. Rubber tires. That's another thing they used to do back then. That's pretty cool. So when I was a kid, I only ever really had the little tiny mini bots. Like Cosmos and... Cosmos, uh, Warpath, Brawn. That, I, that is the reason I cite for why I'm not a bigger Transformers fan than I am. I loved the cartoon show. I loved the characters. But I never had any of the really cool figures. So I just never... Also, the, connected the price to the point was different. The price point was different, and so I, I had some of the little guys. I did eventually get the Metal Optimus Prime secondhand, but that was like after Transformers were done. Yeah. And I, I and I recognized the fact that if I probably had those kind, I would have been more into them. Yeah. I think. Um, so this, I mean, Trax is kind of a middle tier. You know, he's not quite the Optimus Prime, but he's way better than the Minibots. Mm -hmm. Who do you got? Grab somebody out of there. Inferno, right Ooh. off the top. Fire truck. Anything white turns, always turns to yellow. Turns yellow. Jeff Fire. Um, who else is white? He, I'm surprised he isn't. He's turned, pretty good. Yeah, he's got good white on him. Tire. Oh, he's missing. Ugh. He's missing his rubber tire, and he's missing the rim and the tire on this side. But I think that's just a, a metal pin. So that's not something that would be a deal breaker. Uh, of course, with any of these, you know, the fists are separate. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but still cool. The chrome's decent. It's cool. I spotted a guy from the Transformers movie. This is Cup. Cup. Got to yell at Hot Rod for being a punk. <laughs> now, there's two versions of Cup that they oh, put yeah? out. There is one of the... Well, of three then. Okay. Target Master. Right. Then they had a plastic foot version. This and is they this had one. A, and they had a metal foot version. Huh. So Nick's teaching me a lot here. So this guy's got a little bit of paint wear on his windshield or whatever that makes his chest. It's a little bit scuffed up, but he looks pretty complete. He's got arms and legs and all the, the only thing he's there. missing is his gun. That's okay. All, that's the only thing he's missing. Well, that's not bad then. It might be at the bottom. We don't know. You never know. Now, here's a real good one. Swoop. Everyone, everyone loves the Dinobots. Dinobots. But in atypical Dinobot swoop fashion... His beak is missing, which they, it's very rare to find him with the mm. beak. But again, the piece might be down there, but 
But again, usually when it's off, it's, broken. it's broken. Yeah. But the chrome isn't horrible. Stickers look good. He's not real floppy either. It's just his beak's missing. But yeah, can't go wrong with the Dinobots. All right, you're gonna have to help me. Which cone head is this? It's Thundercracker. Thundercracker. So there were three. Three seekers. Three yeah. seekers that all used the same mold in the in the uh, original lineup. Starscream, obviously being the most famous of them. Correct. So he's got his two fins. He's got his windshield. He's got one missile launcher. Yeah, again, it's another one of his fists that you got to yeah, take so off. Yeah, so he's going to be missing He's pieces. got those, like, ion blasters that, you, you know, you put on his arms, like, at these holes. Usually you put them on these holes. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry, on his arms. On his arms, yeah. when he's unfolded. Yeah. Okay. And he has a front landing gear as well that comes off. It just, like, pegs, pegs in, in there. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's got his back wheels. Yeah. All right, he's cool. Let's continue with the uh, the Dino You got the Dino Blast going on here. Yeah. Now I always get the th the three lower ones. Slag, Snarl, and Sludge. Sludge, Sludge is the uh, Brontosaurus. Is okay. That? And then the other two, I always get them mixed up. I don't I know. I always get them mixed up. Sludge and Snarl. I think Snarl's the Triceratops, right? No. Stegosaurus. This he might he might be Snarl. I have a feeling there's going to be an annotation I underneath know. this video yeah. here, <laughs> correcting us. Now, if it was GI Joe, we'd have this. We'd have this down pat. We need uh, we need Retro Now, or we need our buddy Tony. Somebody Tony, somebody would fix yeah. us on this right away. Tony's real good at the. I like Transformers. It's just I'm not as knowledgeable as when it comes to GI Joe. You can't know everything. Oh, um, Tony does. Tony does. <laughs> <laughs> He's in decent shape. His horns are floppy. Um, but again, it's a Dinobot. It'd be cool just to even pose him on a shelf, you know. Oh, there I got a Starscream. Go. I got another Seeker. He has his fists, he has actually. His fists. He's, He's missing, got one missile launcher. One wing. I'm missing a wing. Everybody's favorite. Alright, so there's robot mode versus plain mode on these guys. It's kind of a simple transformation. Like, it's not... The chest is a little... You gotta, like, loop it around. Yeah, that's an yeah. odd piece of them. But they, they still look like... Mostly like airplanes when they're yeah. transformed. And they, uh... I like the fact that a lot of the... Just like Inferno, that's a real... I think it, I don't think it's a Mitsubishi. It's something that they molded it after, just like that. What yeah, is it's it? a real world plane. It's like a F-14, I think. I think so. Yeah. So they did a lot of real world, you know. I think that's a big part of what made the line so special, was that it it, it looked it was. And that's the thing. It, the, again, with the cartoon, it, there was one episode where it was Dirge and. Uh, Who's the other uh, Conehead Dirge in uh... Blitzwing? No, uh, Blitzwing. But they were in a hangar, and they were basically trying to, like, hang Hot blend in. in. Yeah, yeah, but literally out back, and, and it was right after the movie, or right before the movie. Okay. That they were, like, trying to hide there, and they, oh, our cover's blown. <laughs> you know, and they just pull off, you know, but it's like, you've got these bright colors, you know. Robots in disguise. Yeah. Well, this guy is everyone's favorite dino. Oh, Grimlock. Grimlock. Look out. Yeah. Wait, no. Not no? Grimlock. Sludge. Wait. Or, it's Sludge. Sludge? Sludge. Okay. I thought we had that's, Grimlock for a second. That's, uh, that's my bad. When they're in robot mode, they're less identifiable. They all kind of look the same. Yeah. Except for, like, Swoop. Well, Swoop, Swoop yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Chrome's decent on him as well. Especially for being a... Original, yeah, for being yeah, hard played with, exactly uh, been in somebody's attic for 20 years. These weren't collectibles back then, no. I don't even know what this is. That is a techno bot, and I think it's Scattershot. He's the he's the leader. Oh, okay, yeah, he's the main. This is this is beyond my paying attention to Transformers because they had three modes they had the robot mode, the combined mode, and then they had like a he was like a gun type mode. Kind of looks like that. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> but he was the main robot for the Technobots. Okay. Yeah, he was the leader. Oh, I see his head hiding here. Yeah. Is he a, is he an uh, a, a Autobot? Autobot. Okay, yep. I was going to say he has sort of that Optimus Prime style yeah, head. Yeah. 
Okay. And if we can find Grimlock, he can go back to with his father. Yeah. <laughs> this one's cool. Ooh. Shockwave. Shockwave. Ooh, poor shockwave. Shock rough shape. Oof. Oof. Is this a missile launcher to, to yes, Conan? Yes, it is. Oh, I'll put this over here. Poor Shockwave. He is missing his head. His arm has fallen off. Or his blaster, I should say. Mm. Yeah. Now, again, Transformers borrowed heavily from different lines. Mm -hmm. And before Transformers, there was Shackwave. They call, him, they call him Shackwave, but it was Galactic Galactic Man, I think they called okay. him. But he was like a dark gray. Yeah. And he was sold at Radio Shack. So, and then I think uh, Hasbro came along and they... Grabbed up that mold also. Yeah. <laughs> the Japanese. Yeah, took a 9-volt battery. He made noise. His chest would light up. You know, because he... It was a gun, basically. Yeah, he turned yeah. into a laser gun. Yeah. But poor, poor Shockwave. He's, uh, he's seen better seen days. Seen better days. Yeah. They can't all be... They can't all be winners. Oh, here's another guy I know from the movie. Oh, yeah. Ultra he, Magnus. He can't deal with this right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ultra Magnus, the, the weirdest thing about him that, like, you... That's lost on me uh, as a kid that I never realized was that there's a, an actual Optimus Prime figure Correct. inside this. Because they don't... When he transforms in the show, they don't, like, show another Transformer inside him. But there's actually this white... Oh, like, you know, they wanted to make him big, like... Yeah, it's almost like power armor yeah. for, for an Optimus Prime, but because Prime existed and they were trying to make new characters, they, they made him be a separate thing. They could have just done this as, like, an update of Optimus Prime. There he is in the back. I don't know. He does... He does... I know he does, I just don't want him. And in today's him. terms, they would be calling that a parts former. Today's generation doesn't seem to like... Transformers, you have to put different parts. Like you take one part off just to put it on. They want everything to move in one motion. Gotcha. But I think that's pretty. It, it's a neat concept. And and again, they're they're recycling stuff from other toy lines. But I would have been, I think, pretty surprised if I knew somebody that had uh, Ultra Magnus as a kid to find out that there was like another figure in there. And it does remind me a lot of the. Um, what was like the next wave? There was there was a second Optimus Prime. Oh, uh, you mean uh, Power Master? Yeah, I yeah. guess Power Master Prime. He has he has the same thing where yeah, like a helmet goes on yeah. top of him and stuff like that. Uh, one of my friends had him as a kid. And there was two versions of him as well. Okay. One with a rubber tire and one with a plastic. Rubber tires on Prime or on the trailer? On the on the trailer. This one's got the rubber tires. Rubber tires. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I am missing fists for him. I can tell. Yeah, there's fists. Sure there's there's, like, there's like a shield part. There's a gun. He's got. Uh, it's actually. Another one of these. Okay. There's two red rockets. Yeah. But I always liked him as well. Oh, Here's wow. another bad guy to love. Ooh. One of my favorites. Which they just re-released him. I would love to find the re-release yeah. version. He is battle damaged. <laughs> <laughs> battle damaged sound wave. He is missing his cassette door. Right. He's missing half his arm. Half his arm is gone. Broken, broken clean at the elbow. Yeah, but yeah. Transformers. I don't know what it is about them, but they, they, the plastic they used is kind of brittle. Well, they also like, like this guy. He's got metal. The parts. combination of metal and plastic is always bad. I think bad. it's too much, and then you got a kid that doesn't know how to transform it. It's pulling the plastic, like this. Yeah. And, you know, I think it even. I'm trying to think where I saw, but it said, "Have your parents help you." I remember yeah. seeing that a lot. <laughs> Is it on the box? I don't see it on this one. It might not even be Transformers. It might be, you know, something else where it would say, like, have your parents help you, mm. you know. You know, if you can't, you know, can't get it, you know, transformed. I don't even know. Right. The helicopter truck. But it's two of them in it's one. two in one? Yeah. Oh, I see. They call them battle. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, there's two of them. All right. Which they, uh, for this, uh, what was that last line that they had? Not Power of the Primes, right before that. They actually re Oh, they redid these they guys? They redid those guys. Okay. Duo traps? They, no, duo, duo cons is what they called them. That's what it is. There was two of them. There was a Autobot version and there was a Decepticon version. Okay. Yeah. 
I think all that's missing is I think they have guns. Like, Probably, yeah. Well, you got a blue pickup truck and a tan helicopter. Looks like Apache. Yeah. yeah. And these guys... The, hel the truck looks like it's an Autobot and the helicopter's a Decepticon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think... Okay. I think oh, no, the truck is a Decepticon. Let's continue with the sort sign. of uh, sound wave. We got... I think this is Laser Beak. Now there's I Laser Beak Buzz and Saul. Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw's the gold one, right? Yeah. Now, he is missing his head, which is normal for these cassette tapes. I loved the cassettes as I a kid. I love the cassettes. So, Rumble. So they were my favorite of any of the ones I ever had, and none of them, none of the ones I had were brand new, but I used to find them at yard sales once, once in a while. And I had Frenzy and Rumble and Laser Beak and Buzzsaw. I don't think I had um, Ravage, but I, I loved the cassettes, just the, the whole concept of it. Yeah. They were just so neat. It's such a dated thing now, but they just looked great. And there's a, a meme going around on Facebook. It's basically laser beak, you know, something like, you know, my girlfriend picked this up and said, what are you doing with this cassette tape? And yeah. it says along the lines of laser beak still fooling people 30 years later, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I found half a prime. Uh, oh, he is. And the day after he died in the movie. He's in worse shape than he is in the movie. I don't think he can come back from that. There's a fist. That's a victory. Mm -hmm. uh, Prime is a cool figure. One of, one of the best, I would say, really, really, from that line. He looks good in, as a truck. He looks good as a robot. He's got some articulation, like in the arms. Yeah, because you can move his arms out like this. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's one of the more poseable ones. But... All we got is the top half, so there's he's... all sorts of variations for him. There's bloated fists, there's smaller fists, okay. there's uh, different bumpers, hmm. uh, the boxes were different. Uh, just like with G.I. Joe, there's different variations for different Transformers. And How Now, did they keep him in production for longer, or did they just put him out for like a two-year period of time? And then uh, that, I, That's a good question. I don't know. Because it, it seems like Megatron and Prime should have been... But they were so early, like 84. 84. But right, yeah. Yeah. I, and I don't, I'm not sure. Like G, Most G.I. Joes were in stores for two years. I don't know if they did that with Transformers or not. Yeah, no. But it seems like until they killed him in the movie, they should have kept him on store shelves. Correct. What do you got next? Well, let's go with another Soundwave. Now, he's a little Two better. Two Soundwaves, all right. He's a little better. He's got his tape, tape door. He's got both arms. Now, they also called this pre-rub. Right. Because it's just a just sticker. The logo. So there's a pre-rub version and then there's a, a, a rub version. So again, people will collect that as well because technically this is the first version. Uh, like collecting soft head and hard head ninja turtles. Yeah. But yeah. Right. I'm that way with G.I. Joe, but if I got one sound wave, one sound You're wave good. is good with me. <laughs> I don't need, you know, pre-rub, you know, rub sign. Oh, I just found one of the best Transformers oh, ever. Jump starter. These guys were just out of control. And he's got his gun, but that... <laughs> again, you can't go to a flea market, a toy show, and not find... There's two of these guys. Yes. You, they're, they're like friction cars. You, you, you rev them up, and they let go, and when they run, at some point... It clicks they, up and it jumps. They click out, and he, he transforms. It's pretty lame... Uh, yeah. but they had to have been popular because you find so many of them. Like, they had to have sold. The and price point been the has price to point. be, yeah. It's either that or they clearance them right away, and the price Maybe. point brought them all the way down. I can't remember their names. There's two different ones. Usually they He doesn't want to pop. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But he's got his gun. So he's got his gun. He's technically complete. Woo! Might be the only complete guy in the whole box. Here's another. Here's one of my favorites. You know who he is? Uh, is that Blitz? That is Blitzwing. Blitzwing? Yes. So he's a tank and a plane. He's a triple changer. And a robot. So... He was in the opening of the season too, right? Yeah, Omega Supreme crushes him mm. in the beginning. It's Again, that's another one of my favorite Transformers yeah. of Omega Supreme. Um, you got to give it to him for coming out with a triple changer. A triple Transformer back in the 80s. And, and that's small too. Like, if it was somebody like... Ultra Magnus or or Omega Supreme, you understand like triple change. There's enough room to engineer yeah, that. Look how those small little guys, like, him and, and Astro Train. Now yeah. again, the uh, today people complain about scale and everything right. else, but 
Blitzwing was way bigger than Soundwave, but in the toy, now again, they borrowed this. The, the from, scale, the scale problem yeah. came from the fact that they were just combining multiple toy Correct. lines. Yeah. So that that honestly was another issue I had as a kid. I I, I couldn't get over how tiny some of these these guys were. Like, how could how could um, you know, Warpath be so tiny compared to... Correct, and he's a tank. Compared to a VW Beetle or whatever. Yeah. It just didn't make sense to me. And another thing is when these with these triple changes is when you transformed them, you could almost see another part of the... Yeah, yeah. Like, when you transform him to the jet, you kind of still see the tank part. You know, but I, again, you got to give it to him for coming out with something like that back then when... You know, the cartoon had it. Well, and they, I mean, they're engineering this stuff in a day before computer-aided drafting, before rapid Everything, prototyping yeah. and 3D printing they and stuff. They had to make all this. They, they, they put it all together. They it all out, yeah. draw it on paper, tool it up. I mean, it, it's impressive. I found another Dinobot. This is the Stegosaurus. I think that's Snarl. Snarl. So we have all of them but Grimlock. Yeah. Oh, he's missing a leg. Bummer. Mm. His head's a little floppy there. But again, for yeah, some of them, these are actually in decent shape. And again, like he's got metal parts in them, like this part here is metal. Okay. So I mean, for stuff like that, metal and plastic. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Ooh, blaster. Blaster. Let's see if he ejects. And he still ejects. Wow. So you got two things usually with him. Usually this doesn't eject, and two, he seems to lose his ears for some hmm. reason. A lot of times when you go to these shows and you see, you know, people got them in their junk bin, you know, or, you know, the cheap bin, yeah. his ears are missing, or he doesn't eject. This guy is actually in decent shape. They're just dusty from storage, but it's, I think, Sound Blaster, when they did mm. that, you could put two, okay. two tapes, but only one for these guys. Red alert. Red alert? I was going to say, I got no clue here. Little police, or fire chief car. Yes. He had a whole episode dedicated to him. And he's, he's like a Lamborghini. Yes, he is. It's a little odd for the fire department. <laughs> got, does he have his little... No, he's missing his light. He's got like a... Oh, okay. He's got yeah. a little bubble, yeah. bubble gum machine on his back. Yeah. They called him... Uh, no, that, the twins were si a side swipe and sunstreaker. Mm. But they weren't twins, but they called them the twins for some reason. This paint's a little scuffed up. He's, yeah. not, he's not great. He's part, I think his whole hood is metal. Yeah. Yeah. So the metal chips off easy. Yeah, the paint's chipped on his back yeah. a little bit. Oh, he's missing one part of his, his toe. Ugh, oh, man. His toe. He just can't win. No. What else do we got? Here's a good one. Hound. Again, another version where you can get pre-rub. That's all right. So Hound and Brawn are really odd. That you have a Jeep, and then you had like, I mean, what what do you call Brawn? Is he a, is he also a Jeep? Is he a? He's like one of those uh, Doom buggy. Uh, but they're both like military yeah. Jeeps, basically, and totally different scale and, and style. Yes, yeah, so it has got a uh, trademark stamp of Japan of eighty and eighty two. Yeah. So this was probably, out for a while before yeah. it became a transformer. Yeah. And again, most of this stuff is just a block. Yeah. Like he is a block. Once you transform him, his arms just go like this and that's it. You know, he's a block. And that that's again one of those things for me as a kid. I, I wanted them to be able to pose the way they could in the cartoon. Like I wanted elbows and knee joints and everything. And so many of the Transformers, once they're in robot mode. Yeah, like you can move his arms kinda. Yeah. Sound waves you can, Optimus you can. But a lot of them, it's just it's a rotation of the shoulder, and that's it. Yeah. Well, oh, found Prime's tra trailer. <laughs> Lost a bit out of there. It's uh. It's got his legs. Got his wheels, the supports. No roller. No roller. It does have the little command thing. Oh, Prime's guns in here. Nice. This has got the pincher hand and the radar dish. No missiles. And then in the original line, there would have been like a minifigure to go inside here, but for. Transformers, they didn't include those little guys, no. but in the in the Japanese version, they did. Call them diaclones. Right. So as a kid, I always thought that was like, I, it, it, because I didn't know 
what was going on with the reissue. I always wondered about those little seats yeah. that were in here. Like, oh, what, you know, what, there were no other toys that could even work with it. Like, yeah. we didn't have anything in that scale here in the U.S. But that's cool. The door. Oh, yeah, yeah. You need the back door. But the pins are, are the, the loops are there, so you could find a door maybe and stick it on there. And the other good thing is you could move, uh, the, the repair part can come out and still close the door. Oh, I don't know if I ever realized that. Yeah. You can put that up. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I ever noticed that yeah. as a kid. Hmm. Yeah, so included stuff they didn't have to, you know, for more play value, which yeah. is cool. But again, they're taking most of this stuff from that Diaclone. Just another toy line, yeah. And again, when it was the Diaclone, it literally said Diaclone. Right, right. It, it was branded of, with its own Yeah, it said Diaclone. Thing, you know, like if it said Transformers on the side. Yeah. Well, let's finish Prime. <laughs> I don't think it's going to get reattached. That's some broken That's, silver plastic yeah. right there. We could hot glue them. He's still going to be missing an arm. <laughs> he was missing an arm in um, City of Steel. Okay. When uh, the Constructicons uh, dismantled them, put them all all through the city. He had only had one arm. I found a Starscream wing. Good. That's nice. And this is one of the Stunicons. Yep. Drag strip. Drag strip. All right. Fun fact for you. Because uh, uh, I know Tony's going to be watching this. This is his favorite uh, subgroup. His favorite subgroup is uh, the Stunicons. All right. Well, he's cool. Again, came with one or two guns, I think. And the combining part is so it just they just like fit on there. They're just like the car you put in the car and it just sit, together. Yeah, it's odd. Here is Mixmaster to go with his... His card back. His card back. He's missing a wheel, but he's actually not too bad. His crumb's coming off on the, the hubcap there. I can never... Every every time I got... That's basically... <laughs> you transform him. There is no... <sighs> hey, kids loved it. Yeah. You know? It's... Those guys were very, very popular. Yep. That is... Is this a weird... I think it's a knockoff. It's okay. um Perceptor. I was going to say, it looks a lot like Perceptor. Yeah, it's Perceptor, but it's it's a knockoff of some sort. Hmm. I'm sure he has a name. Molded in black. Yeah. He looks cool black. Well, yeah, it's kind of neat. <laughs> Transforms into a microscope. That's what he does. Let's finish the trifecta Ooh. of the Seekers. So which one is that? This is Skywarp. Skywarp. All black. Still at F14. It's got both wings, one blaster, both side wings. Um, he's a little rougher for the for the wear. Uh, Thundercracker is nice, and Starscream is nice, but he's got some heavy wear on his Decepticon insignias. And this was a later one, but it kind of went with the same style. That is Thrust. That's thrust. who I was trying to think of when it Okay, was, it was hiding out. Yeah, it was Dirge and uh, Thrust. So they, they kind of went back to that well, but... It's still the same. Once you take these wings the off, main part. It, the main part is exactly the same. Still the same thrusters. They still transform exactly the same. It's, yeah. it's still the same. They just changed the wings. Basically, I repaint with some... Some parts to refresh it. And Dirge is the same way. He's okay. got the same... It's kind of amazing that they, they were willing to release so many figures, especially in that first wave, yeah. that were basically the same. Did I wonder if Diaclone, did they have a lot of repaints within there? I think they had Starscream. They had Starscream, they had Optimus Prime. Right, but I mean, you, did they release multiple jets? I don't think so. So that could be kind of like for the American market, where like, yeah. oh, we'll put out lots of jets. Yeah. Hmm. Here's a guy I recognize from the movie. Oh, yeah. I got a Rekgar here. Should have like an axe weapon and I guess a wheel, right? For an accessory. Yeah, he's, he's, a shield. His, he's got his rim, but he doesn't have his tire. Mm. But he's actually in decent shape. Again, such a weird. Very weird. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I gotta give him credit for putting out something like that. I got a handful of Devastator parts here for you. Again, hook. Hook. 
one that always breaks. It's so hard to find a hook that isn't broken. Hmm. So when you always go to flea markets, you're always going to find broken hooks. Because I guess because of how this forms his chest, basically. Okay. Basically sits like that. So I guess because there's so many moving parts and it's so small that... I create a lot of the problems. Yeah. There's, I find, I don't know how many broken hooks. <laughs> a broken dump truck. That is Long Haul. Long Haul. Which is voiced, you know who, you know who he's voiced by. Mm, I probably do, but I've forgotten. Greg Berger. Okay. Which Grimlock. he also did Grimlock. So, um, if you watch the cartoon, you can almost hear Grimlock. Okay. He kind of has Just that grumbling. Enough. Yeah. He's like... It's Grimlock minus the weird speech pattern. Exactly. Now there's Bone Crusher, and there's... Again... There's also a Bacco. That was the one I had as a kid. Yeah. There's Scavenger, Bone Crusher... Where's the deceptive? They, they used to tell you, but again, I'm so used to G.I. Joe. Uh, yeah, it is. Long Haul's the dump truck, Mixmaster's the mixer, Hook, Scavenger's the one I was talking on the back of, Bone Crusher is the dump truck, and then this Scrapper is, is the truck yeah. with the scoop on the front. What are the differences? This is a part for the combiner part, for Devastator. Now, who would that have come with? That just packed in with one of the guys? Probably came with a, a Long Haul, because okay. he is the main, he's the main body, like... That's why this is broken, because you fold his his dump part down. Okay. And then it goes like this, and then you fit... I think this goes on top of it. I think. It's it, six of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of... Yeah. A lot of stuff. All right, who do we have here? They are the clones. They had a Decepticon version and an Autobot version. Okay. This, these are the Decept... Uh, the Autobot, Autobots. Uh, one's a race car, and another is like a jet. Okay. And then there's Pounce and Wingspan. That's the Decepticon ones. Okay. One's a bird. <laughs> these were these were after the movie. Yeah, these yeah. These are season three. That's why I have no clue. Headmasters, Target Masters, one of my favorite I had parts moved on. of it. Yeah. Ninja yeah. Turtles and, and G.I. Joe were... I think all he's... Yeah, he's got a, uh, like a spoiler. Okay. But he's got both his guns, so that's actually a plus. Ratchet! Ugh. <laughs> Him and Ironhide. They are so weird. And no f no faces, no heads. Just that little sticker. And originally they came, you know, yeah, you were supposed to put some kind of sticker to make his, his make his head. You, can, you can't see it here, but I can just about see it. But there's his head. It's horrible. And clearly they, I think because there was, this was from another line right. that they just incorporated into the Transformers. Because there's no other... It has nothing, you know. And other... then for the cartoon, they they made them look more uniform with the other Transformers, Correct. but it just made them not look like yeah, the toys, that, really. That's. I, I feel bad for those two. This another... is another Stunticon? Correct. I think it's. This is where the line gets really wacky, because now we've got two different Corvettes yeah, yeah. in very different sizes. That is Breakdown. Breakdown. He's a, a foot to Minnesota, I guess? Yes, he is. Wheeljack. Wheeljack. Oh, just he's hard to find as well, unbroken. And Megatron. Yes. They had Megatron. This is his feet. <laughs> he had a lot of parts too, Megatron. He had all the attachments. Is this Megatron? Let me see. Looks like feet of, or you know, legs or something. Legs of somebody. Here's another one of those friction guys. This is Twin Twist. That's it. Top Spin and Twin Twist. Twin Twist. That is... Not a, Astro Train. No. This is just a regular spaceship. That is Blast Off. Blast Off. That is, um... Parallel? Bruticus. Oh, Bruticus. Okay. Your buddy Starscream in, uh, created them. Okay. Megatron, um, banished Starscream to an island, and it just so happened to be where World War II... Battle happened, and there was all these leftover, including a 1980 space shuttle. Well, it was a, <laughs> uh, it was like a a P a P forty one. Oh, and he converts them into newer things. And when you watch the cartoon, it from the P the P fifty one. I'm sorry, P fifty one, and it just converts to a space shuttle. Okay, you know, there's Devastator's head. Yep. Combiners are one of my favorites. I love when I, you know. Oh, here's the chest piece to yep. Devastator. 
There's Wheel Jazz. For, that's Wheel oh, that's Jack. part of Wheel Jack? Yeah. This might be Wheel Jack. This is a pretty beat up Insecticon. Yeah. Shrek. Pincher Beetle one. Oh, Sea Spray, we got him. There he is. Everybody's favorite mini bot. Yeah. Oh, the Optimus Prime. Yeah, who voiced him? Uh, Alan Oppenheimer. Which also did Skeletor. Skeletor. There's somebody's gun. Yeah. That might be an Insectic. That is an Insecticon. Gun. There's the grasshopper. Kickback. Kickback. Another gun. This one looks a little bit larger. Yeah. That's Megatron. Megatron pieces. Devastator. Devastator. That wheel jack. Somebody one of the Star planes. Scream. Some more guns. Yep. Oh, this is a sound wave Correct. missile tip. This, I think, because it holds on. It's something that doesn't have, someone that doesn't have a fist. See how this... Oh, okay, so yeah. it slots in. Yeah. That's for... Uh, is that part of Hound? Yes, it is. I'm thinking... This guy looks to be okay. Who is this? Um, Hoist? Hoist. Hoist. I knew it. I or, didn't if you comment. watched... Uh, Hoist Goes Hollywood, the director calls him Moist. Moist. <laughs> so anytime we, you know, in our little group that we have, we always say, did you see Moist over there? And there's a, a sound wave gun. Yeah. Battery. If you want to be G1 correct, you put it on his shoulder. Well, here's the other twin. Yeah. Another Megatron piece. Yeah. This is the plain one. We're getting down to some... Some real bits and pieces over here. Oh, there's another Insecticon. Yep, that's Bombshell. Megatron, Megatron Barrel. Ultra Magnus. Oh, look, there's a fist for him with a gun. And a side swipe. He's in bad shape. Yes, he is. Ironside. Oh. Ironhide? What am I saying? Broken Buzzsaw. That goes to uh, Stunicon. I'm thinking, where are they? There's one. I think it goes, maybe it's not, we haven't pulled it out yet. I don't know if it goes to him or not. It's the same purple. This might go down to that Porsche. That's Ramhorn. Is that the Rhino? Yep. Two versions of him as well. Okay. One that has silver weapons, one that has gold weapons. All right. Watch guy. Watch guy. <laughs> Was that actually a Transformer, or was that just like a It's Takara. So okay. it was... Made you know, by the company that made the Transformers, yeah. but not a Transformer. Devastator, Devastator gun? gun. Ooh, we got Ultra Magnus' nice. booklet here. And... The clones! There you go. Ooh, we Eject. got another tape. Eject or rewind. I can never... Uh, one's black, one's blue. Except that they didn't reverse the colors like they did for the, the other guy, Frenzy and Rumble. We got some more odds and ends. Yeah, two hounds. Pieces. There was two two hounds. That's oh, okay. Was, yeah. Of course, another hound there. Yeah. Oh, this goes to this guy. Yes. That might be Scattershot, but I don't quote me on that. Wonder if that can go back on him or not. This might go to him. Shockwave's head. Yeah. There's another tape guy. Or, uh, this one's chrome. Um, watch guy. This one's really nice, actually. There's a fist to one of the planes. Probably Skywarp or Thundercracker. Well, that black. gun. That 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 does, um, construct the con. Oh, Ravage. There you go. All right. That's one of his side missiles or side cannons. There's a purple sword. This is for Astro Train. Oh, I'm sorry, Blitzwing. That's Megatron's head. Yes, it is. Missile Launcher. Swoop. There's a head to Buzzsaw. Nice. This is Swoop's head. No, yeah, Swoop's gun. I got a purple fist. For a that, jet. That is Skywarp. I'm sorry. So let's move this. This gives the Thundercracker. That's a metal piece of hound. That's Perceptor. Perceptor, but it probably goes to the black yeah, one. Yeah, there's another fist. 
So that goes to the nutcracker. We're getting there. We're almost out of parts here. Is that Ratchet's head? No, this is Bumblebee's head. Oh, yeah, it is Bumblebee's head. That Down. goes to him. Goes thrust. The purple missile. Or an interior part, who knows? It's a missile. Some fists. This is Skywarp. Pound. It's not Optimus. No. It's similar to Optimus, but it's got a different like connector peg. Yeah. It connects almost like a missile. Yeah. Split tire, there's is that Ultra Magnus's fist? That is. Something else's. Yep. Oh, no, it's too tiny. It doesn't match that. No, it's the, it's the one. F oh, for the prime yes. part. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. So he needs four fists. Yes, he does. A little maroon yeah. gun. That's Devastator. Devastator part. Another star screen. Star part. screen. A missile. That's it. That's everything wow. that's in the box. It's pretty good, though. That, it's a lot of pieces. There's you got some not good a stuff lot of here. complete guys, but the, uh, the jets are good. Yeah, Ultra Magnus is good. Um, some of the Dinobots are good. Blaster's good. He needs a toe. Needs a toe. That's all right. The cassettes are always good. They're cool. Some of the Constructicons are good. Rekgar is good. Again, there's still people that will take the time to draw out a ribbon. And that's what's amazing, is yeah. that the people that can put these guys back together use some of this stuff to, to yeah. salvage toys. You know, Cup's good. Trax is good. Uh, you know, if, you know the uh, jump starters are always good. Yeah. It's hard to find a bad one of them. You got two sound waves. One is definitely... <laughs> One's a beater. <laughs> these watches are cool. Two different ones. The chrome one. It's very cool, and it's actually got real nice chrome. Yeah. It. It's a Takara chrono form. Yeah. It's very cool. And I'm sure, to be honest, that because one's chrome and one is black, that one's one name and one's yeah. another name. Yeah. That's hmm. cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of these Transformers. Um... I don't do a lot of Transformer content on the channel, but it's definitely fun to get to take a look at, you know, an old collection and, and really see some of these older figures up, up close and personal. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.